Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to install Final Fantasy XI in order to play on the Nogalil server. You have to go to our homepage. You're not going to be able to see all the downloads unless you create an account. So it's very important for you to create an, an account and uh, be as a guest. So once you create an account, you're going to log in. Once you log in, you're going to be able to see this post. So you go to instructions, then you go to downloads. Once you're here, you have many options to install the game, but we're going to focus on the safest one and the easiest one. So you have two options here where you can download 58 files of 100 megabytes or six files of one gigabyte. It depends on what kind of account you have. If you happen to have an account, a premium account for Mediafire, then you're going to be able to download these ones. If not, you're going to have to download these ones. As you can see here, this, these files are for what they were updated on the 29th of September 2014. So these ones are the newest ones for the date of the video. It's only two days old. Okay, so you're gonna go ha go ahead and download these these files. You just click it. It's gonna open this folder, and you're gonna download all these files. Okay, and after that, you're gonna download register shop. Register Workshop. I'm gonna download it. You're gonna download Final Fantasy Client. You will need this one to launch the game. And you're gonna need the registries. You're gonna download them from here. And let's say you already downloaded all these 58 files. You're going to go to your computer. To downloads. Once you're here, you're going to extract these files. You're going to extract these ones. And you're going to extract this one. Right there. You can get rid of these ones. So now you have what you need right here. When you download the 58 files, once you compress them, you're going to end up with one folder. The password can be one of these ones. It might be this one, or this one, or not a password at all, or this one. It's placed like this to prevent uh, somebody taking it out down on the server. So you just, you just try all of them. So when you uncompress those 58 files, you're gonna end up with this folder. It's called Play Online. Make sure you place it on the C drive, or if you don't have space on your C drive, just place it on, on your D drive. This is very important because the, this is how you know which registry you're gonna use. So we're gonna do it for the C drive this time. So let's say I compress this this folder into the C drive. Just to make sure you understand, I'm gonna retell you where they came from. It came from from this one, the 58 downloads, or this one. It depends on which one you download, but either one is gonna have the same files. So you, you just place them and play online. You place the play online folder in your C drive. Then when you go back to your downloads, and then this is the important stuff. You're gonna open your registry workshop. You're gonna run it as an administrator. And you're gonna say yes. And then you're gonna import file import. Then you're gonna see all the other files. 
it's very important here that you pick the right one, the registry you're going to import. If you're using a 64 bit, 64 bit system or a 32 bit system, just pick whichever one is your system. In my case, it's going to be CPAD because we place the Play Online folder on the CPAD. So we're going to import this one. So it's going to be asking you if you are sure you want to import this and you want to say yes. Yes, yes, and you're going to do it until it ends. And that's it. It's done. So you hit OK. And you can just close now this one and you have to restart your system. Let's say I already restarted my system. Once you have restarted the system, then you have to update the, the game. How you do that? Okay, you go to your Play Online folder, Square Enix, go to Final Fantasy. You're going to erase a file, so when you try to check the file to update the system, it finds a file missing. So it, it does it, otherwise, it won't because it checks the files and it thinks it's all, all correct. So we go back to our Play Online folder, Square Enix, and then Play Online. And then you open the Play Online. It will say yes every time. Okay. Once you open this one, you're going to see something like this. Then you're going to want to go to check files. Final Fantasy 11. Check files. What this is going to do is going to check all the entire files you have and it's going to see if it's, everything is correct. Okay, then it's going to find the one file needs to be updated. Okay, once you check the files, it's going to tell you that one file is it uh, has an issue. So then you go to file repair. And it's going to ask you if you want to repair and you say yes. So now it's going to download the la latest version of the game and it's going to compare. So as it, it finds any not updated files, it's going to do it. In my case, I fully updated, so it's going to just update that file. Okay, we just downloaded that file. Now it's reinstalling everything. What it did right there is just fix all the registries that we just imported. So now you have a full updated version of the game and working. So you just hit OK. Make sure you, you did do it this way. You hit OK and then you hit Exit. So it closes correctly. Otherwise, if you use closer from the X, you're gonna crash your installation, and you will have to do it again. Okay. Once you updated the game, you need to create an account. For that, you have to go to your downloads folder where you extracted all the information, and you have, you have to check your the client mini file. This is all pre-made, so you should be able ready. You should be ready to go. But just in case, this is the IP for the server. This is the auto login option. It can be zero or one. One for auto login. You, can, you place your username account and your password account. Uh, right now, it has a pre-made account, so you can just quickly test the server. And um, make sure you have. You just you check here if it's on the North American version, the European or the Japanese version of the game. If you're downloading everything from the server page, it's going to be the North American version. So just leave it like that. If you have your own installation, then just change it for the installation you have. This is the window mode. It's zero for no window, just like it says here one for normal and two for light. Just leave it zero to, to test the first time and this is going to be the screen resolution you have. 
it don't matter if you have a zero here but if you do change it make sure it matches your screen resolution okay but before that you have to configure the final fantasy you just updated so we're gonna go to C play online Square Enix Final Fantasy you're gonna go to tools US because you have the US installation and you're gonna go to configuration and make sure you run it as an administrator in case it doesn't ask so we can just change it here a little bit to test it we want window with mode yes screen size we want that one yes save it settings did you say it's correctly so go back to the download folder and to the final fantasy client and we're going to test it with a place user place user password that we already have so let's try it right there it just gave me an error why this why this gave me an error because you need to run the game as an administrator you can just ch run it here and just change it for for forever this properties compatibility run as administrator okay and then run it Yes. And voila. We have a working version of the game. You see all these people has entered the game with this account and has created characters. We're just gonna enter with any of them and just check it out. And there you go You're inside the game okay let's exit in order to create our own account make sure that every time you close the game you do a proper shutdown that way all your settings record Otherwise, if you just close, close it from this window, it will it will not save everything. I can just go ahead and close it here, and it's gonna close everything. See, but it did not save any settings. So now we'll, let's create a, uh, our own user. So we, we have to change this setting to zero, so it doesn't auto log again. Then we save and we run it again right here it's connected it's shown it's connected it's asking you what you want to do we want to create an account so we create an account we hit 2 enter we enter the username we want and the password and we repeat the password I need to just create an account. I can just log in from here right now. I need to just log in. And you can go ahead and create a charter. So now we're gonna close it. So we do it as an auto login. We place one here. We play our username and our username and save it. So we double click and it's gonna do it automatically and you're ready to go okay. 
I'm gonna create a character just for testing purposes and you can see everything. We're gonna do a random name. You can do this by hitting the plus key on the num numpad. It's gonna ask you which country you want. Okay, you know all this. That's it, man. You're ready to go. You can start playing. <laughs> 